Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, Oakley and I have just been chilling at home. Bev's at school like always. Um, yeah, and it's, it's just a rainy, gloomy day. Um, I'm trying to think. Mm, we're not really story of our lives. We don't have any major plans. Bev has soccer tonight. And the one positive thing about that is that um, Oakley can go to the kids club while Bev has soccer and he loves that. And I've really been trying to get him in there more just so he can be more active and socialize. And yeah, so we will just show you. So yeah, we'll just take you along with our day and see where it takes us. There's Oakley on top of the table getting into my package. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. Thank you. It's, it's so frustrating. Yesterday we had an Easter get together with friends. And look, the item I got. Um, the item I got Jackson the my friend katie's little boy it came today and i needed it yesterday so it's so cute i can't wait to take it out of the package and look at it it's so cute he's gonna look adorable in it wearing it like a little toddler and then i got this for the kids skip pop was having a sale obviously and i bought this one for oakley this little box um, insulated food jar and then I got one for Bev this was the cheapest one and she wanted the ladybug so I was like okay but this one was nine dollars and she's gonna be bringing her own food to school next year so I thought I could put thank you I thought I could put warm soup or like leftovers in there That's, that, one, oh, that one's sissy's bud so yeah you guys should I'll let you know if I like them Thanks. Oakley just wanted to take everything out of the box so we could sit in it. What are you doing? Uh. But it looks like a little bit more close up. I took the cap off it so I could see it. Yeah. That's what it looks like on the inside. But yeah, I think this is going to work out perfect. A little spoon attaches to it. I'll see how Bev likes it. But yeah, that'll be so cute. And the, oh. Then see the cap is just this insulated cap. Super cute. Yeah. You guys, I'm that mom today. <laughs> I have to pick Bev up from school to get his face. Yeah, I didn't want to pick the battle. <laughs> oh. Bev, how was school? I can play that. How was school? Good. Good? What are you wearing? Nothing. Every response is nothing. Were you using your new lawnmower? No? Welcome back to the plane pack. I'm trying to get a sore throat. Bev's Tanya has a sore throat. It is a gorgeous day yeah. today. Not gonna lie, we've been kind of lazy inside. <laughs> but, you know, we've yeah. I had some stuff to do. Yeah. I have so many research papers that are due in the next coming weeks. But, we and, yeah. but now we're out and about. We are going to the animal shelter. To the animal shelter. Um, so we're gonna go to the animal shelter in the town next to us. Um, to switch it up a little bit and just enjoy the fresh air and hopefully we see some cute little animals and yeah. spend some time together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
cats, but they have dogs, yeah. So we will see you guys later. Where are your shoes? Did you take them off? <laughs> um, it's a little sound machine for the cats. Bud. It's a hard thing to know. Oakley. That just so weird. Look at the little kitty. Look at this little kitty. Mm. Bobby's trying to get his fingers in there. Like, <laughs> things <laughs> Don't take the food, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take the food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be careful. When he turns and walks away. Oh, he keeps trying to take the kitty's food. Be gentle. Be gentle. The things I want to say Maybe he'll listen someday mm -hmm. I know it is not enough to say I'm sorry Didn't beg him to stay So there we go really like the dogs. I she mean, I mean I mean I mean the dog and the cats. The dogs and the cats, but tell them what you did when we went were visiting I, the dogs. I pet the uh, kitty uh, the one one of the dogs uh, licked me and and I and I gave every single dog a treat and Yeah that's the part we I want to talk about. She gave and, every single dog probably like two treats a piece. Like she just kept dropping them in their kennels, didn't you Beth? And I think the guy that worked there was getting a little bit annoyed, but I just wanted to love on him. Oakley's getting upset. He didn't want to leave. We are gonna go get ice cream cones because it's so beautiful. Oakley! Oakley, let me see your cone! Oakley, let me see your cone! Oakley! Let me see your cone! Look it! Look it! <laughs> oh, you like it? Like, did you see me eating ice cream, guys? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> Bev's like, did you see me eating ice cream? Um, no, I turned on the camera because we were outside on their balcony, not balcony, but on their outside patio area eating ice cream. And then this gentleman came out and, you know, I hate talking about it in front of the kids, but it is what it is. But... This, this guy started, he just lit up a cigarette and started smoking right next to us. And you know, it's like, I know that the outside area was a, 
was not labeled as a non-smoking area, but it's just like common decency. <laughs> I feel like just respect when you see children to not light up a cigarette. So yeah, I got really frustrated and we just got up and moved. And then I asked the <clears throat> Dairy Queen manager if there was a rule regarding it and he said there wasn't. So, you know, people just, just be kind. You know, when you see kids just, you know, step away another 50 feet in another direction or something, you know, it's like, just, just be kind, like let families enjoy themselves. You know, Dan and I were at the beach with Bev when I was pregnant with Oakley and the same thing happened to us. We were enjoying ourselves at the beach and then these two ladies right next to us just lit up cigarettes and you know, it was just blowing in our area. It's just, you know, it's disrespectful. Anybody else feel the same way? Yeah. Like comment down below.